In this video I will show you how to replace the toilet seat on your toilet when it's broken. The toilet cup, the toilet cover, the toilet seat usually doesn't last many years. So at some point you will have to replace it. And you could call someone to do it for you to replace it, but you could just replace the toilet seat yourself. Usually it has two points where you attach it to the toilets, the, the actual toilet bowl. The brand doesn't really matter, you just get the, the most strong toilet seat that you can afford, really. And make sure that the size is matching. So you should measure the toilet bowl, uh, the length and the width. And when you go to the shop, you measure the toilet seat, make sure it's a similar size, they will not be exactly the same. There are going to be mounting brackets in the new toilet seat package. Take a picture of these brackets before you start using them. And just to make sure that you don't lose any parts and you install them in the right order. In my case here I have a key for a toilet seat. You can remove it, <laughs> but it doesn't match with the old bolts from the toilet seat. Some of them they might have an easy way to remove. It really depends on your luck here. So mine is just a regular bolt and nut and I have to use uh, pliers or uh, adjustable wrench, adjustable, adjustable tool, any tool really that you can use to unscrew this bolt. When you do this, it's better to do it in the morning when it's not too hot. Here it's all getting a bit hot. So yeah, it, it's a bit it doesn't look like it's very difficult, but it is difficult if you have to use pliers or a adjustable wrench that doesn't really fit perfectly. So if you have a ratchet key, a ratchet uh, key set is much easier, much better, like much faster. The old toilet seat, actually the cap of the toilet seat was cracked, it was broken completely, so yeah. You see that rubber yellow part, I put it beef on top, on the top side. I'm just saying that so you see, actually when I installed it, I put it below by mistake. And that's the toilet bowl, clean it up, remove any dirt from there. And on this side, I was actually doing it much easier. I got used to using this uh, adjustable key wrench. And the second bolt is out also. The same way I remove, I remove the second bolt. This might be completely different for you. They might be just, they might have a, like a butterfly type of wing nut like this, where you don't need the key, you just use your fingers to open it. That's ideal. But these ones didn't have it. Now all the mounting, all the old parts from the old toilet seat are removed from the toilet bowl all cleaned up and now I'm ready to install the new brackets. Here, this is why I say it's good to take a picture of these brackets so you know how they are supposed to be installed in case they fall and you don't know how to put them back. Yours might be completely different. One tip I could say it's better to get toilet seats that have metal brackets, even the hinge to be metal like, like on this one. The metal brackets, they last longer. I've noticed the plastic ones, they break much easier and they, they don't work properly anymore. Before inserting the brackets, align the toilet seat on the toilet bowl to make sure it can sit straight and it's not too small or not too big. If it's a little bit bigger than the old one, I don't think it's a problem, but also the holes must align to the, the and the brackets on the toilet seat. So basically what I'm saying is the toilet bowl has to be compatible with the toilet seat. Now I'm taking the parts that should go above the toilet bowl. Here it should have been also the rubber part, the rubber piece, I didn't put it. It goes first here on the, on the screw. But the plastic cover there is to protect the bowl so it doesn't, the metal doesn't touch the ceramic of the bowl. And the inside also that soft, soft rubber is to 
secure the the ball and make sure that the metal doesn't touch the ball but it's there is a hole under it and yeah aligning it's important here it's important to have the toilet seat straight but it it is adjustable so if you don't align it perfectly from now it's not really a big deal now gathering the parts that will go under the toilet bowl here i didn't really need to put the the one on the right here the gasket i should have put it on the top but in this one exactly here this i believe it should have went the old one was on top actually above the toilet bowl but it did work like this also and i was thinking to remove it and replace it but i thought okay i'll leave it like this so you put them in the order as they are and the first that touches the the ball the toilet bowl should be the plastic one not the metal so you have the plastic metal washer and then the nut and here because i have the this uh, adjusting key it's much easier to screw in the bolt with the key here than with the pliers or with any adjusted adjusting wrench there might be actually i will put a link in the description to special key for the toilet seat but the sizes they might be different so the one that comes with your toilet seat try to keep it somewhere in your toolbox so when you need it later you can just grab it and use it again if if your toilet seat came with one or you can purchase one in the shop when you go or when you order it if you order it online i will put links in the description for toilet seats and tool sets used in this video with this key you can actually don't even have to go under the toilet like i was doing it before you you just adjust it from here and the, the what i did is i adjust it slowly slowly on left and right and then check if it's straight if it's not straight i adjust it a little bit i move it a bit and then i tighten it more it's important not to tighten it a very a lot on one side and then tighten the other side also it's important that the plastic parts cover the metal parts in case when you tighten it it happened to me that one of these uh, top covers the plastic under it it was coming out so i had to undo the tightening and uh, align it again because you don't want the metal to touch the ceramic in that case it could scratch the metal ball or even break it i'm not sure if it could really break it but you don't want to go that far now it's ready brand new toilet seat most important is to have metal hinges and the, the hardest metal the thickest uh, material you can afford really no need for the color preferences it's actually it's up to you the thickness is matters thanks for watching